Hello and welcome to Angela's Busy Bees Garden and Homestead. Guys, I have been potting up my kale. Um, I started uh, some kale in one of these little pots um, that you pick up from Dollar Tree and I just dumped a bunch of seeds in about four or five pots. And as you can see, um, I have uh, removed them from the pot and divided them up into their own little pots of their own. And as you can see, I have several trays of kale plants. Um, a lot of this is gonna be used in the home garden. Some will be used in um, the garden in which um, I sell food at the farmer's market. So the market garden, and then of course, I'm going to also um, be selling seedlings at the farmer's market. And so some of these I'm reusing uh, these little pots that you get from Lowe's or Home Depot when you buy vegetables or when you buy uh, flowers. And so I had some of these on hand. So I'm using these to uh, put kale plants in as well um, that will be used to sell at the farmer's market. And also over here, I have a 72 uh, sale of peat pellets. This is where I will be starting seeds for tomatoes. I just poured some warm water over it, so I'm going to wait for it to cool down um, before I insert the, seal, the seeds. And then once I've put the seeds in, I'm going to go on and cover it up and place it in a warm area until it germinates. Um, but as you can see, I'm still moving forward uh, with getting ready for the spring garden uh, by sowing seeds. So far, I have um, cabbage sown. I have collard green seeds sown, uh, kale, Swiss chard, and peppers, both bell peppers, cayenne peppers, habanero peppers, and bell peppers. And as you can see now, the kale have come up. And so... I will be placing all of these that have germinated under my shop lights and I'm going to place the shop light about an inch above the pot, uh, very close to the plant because I don't want them to get too leggy and I did try to bury them uh, as far into the soil with just a little bit of the stem sticking out and uh, by placing the shop light about an inch or two, maybe maybe one and a half to two above the plant, it keeps it from getting so leggy and it'll become a more sturdy and healthy plant uh, when ready to um, transplant into your garden. And uh, I'm in growing zone 7A and um, the reason why I'm sowing seeds now, particularly for the brassicas, uh, is because um, Last year and in previous years, I've always started planting my brassicas in March. And so by sowing seeds now, I'm getting them ready uh, to be transplanted in March. Um, but before transplanting, they have to go through the hardening off process. And that is about a week where I'm taking them out uh, in increments of a, an hour then you build up to two hours, three hours, and so on over the course of about a week, um, bringing them in uh, and bringing them out where they can experience, you know, the weather, the wind, uh, the sun, and what have you. And so it takes about a week for them to harden off. And then from there, they will be able to either go into the greenhouse and then subsequently into um, the garden. Okay. Thank you so much for joining me, guys. Have a blessed one. Bye-bye.